Today we dive deep into the wonderful world of shock rock. Do you know what shock rock is? What? I'm shocked. Are you talking like, like shock rock? Or like you... shock rock? Shock, shock rock? rock? Or are you talking like... <laughs> Something shock factor. You get shocked by it because it's so amazing. I am talking about the world of Marilyn Manson, Rob Zombie, Guar, Kiss, and more. Oh, I'm gonna eat this up. Ooh, is there I like surprise it. factors? Whoa. Is this a bomb in the back? That's trippy. It looks like shrooms. I'm trying to see who it is. I like the song. Burn through the witches. The witches are burning. Right? It's cool though. Like that's so cool. Oh my god, I'm scared. I like makeup. Oh, that was PCH. I can smell the music video and it's yeah. a lot. <laughs> Oh my god, that was awfully close. <laughs> Not her smiling, unfazed. <laughs> that this sounds part. more like metal to me. The visuals were really cool. Okay. Very cool, unexpected. The song was good. Yeah. Like, it was just like there. It made me feel like I wanted to burn witches. <laughs> they just literally yeah. put the most shocking things you could ever think of, like the throwing knives, yeah, uh, for real. screaming. Okay, well that is Rob Zombie, uh -huh. and the song is Dragula. Yes, Rob Zombie! There you go. Uh, he utilizes horror and sci-fi clips in his music, in samples, but also in the music videos. As you see, he was a big B-movie horror lover from like old school B-movies. So uh, it's been described as phantasmagoric. That's the gayest thing I've ever heard you say. <laughs> Again, for me, it's not completely over the top, but it's showing off an art style. He started his career in a band before being Rob Zombie, the solo artist, oh. when he was in White Zombie a little bit earlier in the 90s, and we're gonna watch that right now. Yeah, the the creature from the hey, Black Lagoon. Hey. Oh, I love this. I love this one. Skeleton handstand. You hear all his monsters. It's always the X-ray colors. Oh my god! The boom boom. Oh my god! Na, na, na. Na, na, and the flash. Ah, not the clown. Right, Halloween. It's very alternative. Very. Let's go to my garage and play right now. Oh my god, this is my favorite one so far. <laughs> oh, bro, this is hard. They definitely smoked before this. So are we fans? Yes. yes. <laughs> I think his solo work definitely outdid the band here. Okay. However, I think I liked the melodic progressions that this one had versus like the repetitiveness of the first one. Okay, that's different. Ooh. Ooh, the switch. Um, Looks like the mummy. There he is. Yeah, this motherfucker was disturbed. Oh, that's a look. I'm more intrigued, if anything, you know? It's very hard to like pinpoint how I feel about the song. Yeah, it's more like, rawr, like, like Ooh. creepy, sinister. Woo, woo, woo. I can't understand what he's saying. And if he's putting a curse on me, I can't be a part of it. <laughs> yeah, you want to buy that too. This feels like American Horror Story. It does. Because oh. this is giving Asylum vibes. This is the scariest. <laughs> Ooh. Right? Mm -hmm. I what like is it. that bell in the back? Hold on. It's like like Halloween music with a groove. <laughs> wow. It's super shocking. God, right. He's a funny looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, that one was good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah <that was> cool. <laughs> It gives me very much like experimenting on yes. people, which is like so scary. It was creepy. He wants it's to disturbed. scare you. It's yeah. disturbed. He wants to scare you more with like it's uncomfortable imagery. Yeah. Yes, that was Marilyn Manson. Oh. oh, wow. All right, well, this is one of the biggest music artists of the 90s and early 2000s, uh, said to have uh, five different tones and registers in his voice. And a sound engineer once claimed that once inge he ingested it into the system, the five different uh, wavelengths created a pentagram. Oh my <laughs> god. That's metal as f That's frightening, but I love that. Yeah. He's like Nicki Minaj of like rock. <laughs> when you get into this kind of music, <sighs> there's some other <laughs> Oh, so, oh, this is uh, Slipknot, like, yeah. People going, who, huh? really? This is Slipknot. Slipknot's crazy, okay? My favorite is Spike Boy. 
get spikes out of his face. Yeah. We'll see him again. Okay. They look like the coolest people ever. Like, whoa. Oh my. The guitarist is doing it for me. Like, he's, oh my. Yeah. Oh, see, wow. Okay. See, once, once they start talking about the devil inside and <laughs> that's where I leave the chat. <laughs> I was in the Slipknot video. Uh -huh. Talking about Slipknot, um, although some of their songs aren't my favorite, they have some bangers. Oh my mm -hmm. god! So you know, were you in the Slipknot video? I was. I had a lot of the comments coming for me, but y'all need to understand. <laughs> I had never seen anything like Slipknot before. Okay. But now you have. I have. So now I understand the beauty. But I was scared. I was frightened. <laughs> Link in the description for us watching Slipknot. I liked it. I feel like in the beginning with the black coming out of their nose, it kind of reminded me of Billie Eilish in that one. Oh music my video God! Her. Yeah. It, it was. I couldn't get past Devil and I, but you know. I didn't understand. I think they're a little too dark for me, which is weird because I'll take Marilyn Manson. Slipknot just went. A little too direct for me. Shock Rock started way earlier. Way earlier. And probably way earlier than you would imagine. So, trivia question time. Hmm. I'm gonna fail. That is Screamin' Jay Hawkins. And he's often credited as one of the first pioneers of Shock Rock. The way he performed one specific song helped birth this genre. Which song was it? A, Monkberry Moon Delight. B, I Put a Spell on You. C, Heart Attack and Vine. Or D, Little Demon. The only one I think I know is... I want it to be I Put a Spell on You because okay. I would love to hear it like <laughs> in a raw, villainous, okay. like, rage. I'm gonna say C. I want to say B, but I'm saying C. I'm going with B. You're going with B? I'm going with B. I Put a Spell on You. So I'm gonna go with Monkey Berry Moon Delight. Monk Berry Moon Delight? Monk yes. Berry. No. Heart Attack and Vine. Help okay. birth a genre. Yeah, I'm gonna go Monk Book Mary Moon Delight. Should've watched with your guts. It was I put a spell on you. Damn. Oh, for we real. Got, we got nervous. No! <laughs> I just said I wanted to save me. Ugh. Oh my god! <laughs> it's an iconic song. So I couldn't I'm copy him. I was like, I have to choose either A, C, or D. <laughs> dun, 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 I put a spell dun, dun, on you. I put a spell on you. Considering it birds a genre, you can definitely see where it comes from. You can definitely see how something that, that can be construed as controversial could be made into made into art. And people overall not being okay with it, but still wanting to put out that art anyway. And to be honest, because when I think of rock, I immediately go white guy. I immediately go screaming white punk. Like that's what comes for imagery. So to, to hear this history of a black person birthing this genre that is now controlled slash dominated by white men is insane. So, he was considered the first one, but now we are gonna talk about the godfather. Wow. The Reverend Smith, he recognized me. I know this song. Sky. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that? Oh, I'm terrified. Hell no. I'm terrified. I couldn't. <laughs> I don't know how people could do that. Like voluntarily have a snake. Wow. Okay, oh, that's, cool. that's a look. I don't know his name, but I know the face. I recognize him older. No, that would be fun to watch. That one right there. That's that performance. Crazy. Okay. That outfit right. was given. I feel like I might hear or like remember the name. All right. So Alice Cooper is like the godfather of shock rock. Alice Cooper. Uh. <laughs> Bro, my brain is like I don't even know how to describe it. I'm just a big fan of the song. I like it when they yeah. sing it more than scream it. Yes. When it's like scream sing, not just scream. I don't know. I, I think the thing I like the most about it was his confidence. I don't know how he did the snake. I will never ever ever get a snake near me. You're not your favorite snakes? You say you wanna go for a spin. That's a fun one. Kiss! Kiss! Iconic. Yes! <laughs> oh! Oh! Yes. Today, we're doing this in platform heels, baby. Yes! You people shout it! Woo! Come on! Oh. I wanna rock and roll all night and party every day. I wanna so rock much and roll all oh, night. Oh, I, I can't do the tongue. <laughs> Okay, I love the contrast oh, yeah. of them like in the pool and then blood. This era though is crazy. The mullets. Oh my god. 
I feel oh. like it'd be so fun going to a... A kiss concert. Ah! It's overstimulating. <laughs> I feel like there's more yeah, yeah. glamour elements almost yeah. than shock. Their names are Star Child, the Demon, the Spaceman, and the Catman. I'm Star Child every day. <laughs> I know, as soon as you said all of them, I can picture the makeup that they all had, and it like adds mm -hmm. up. That's so cute. Star Child, you yeah, have the heart. stars. <laughs> I've Absolutely. always been a fan. Mm. They are amazing. I love, I love Kiss. Always. Yeah? Uh-huh. Uh, their live shows, like you saw, fire breathing, blood puking, pyrotechnics, levitating drum kits. Oh, this is Gene Simmons uh, showcasing his legendary tongue. Come closer. Uh oh. Uh oh. Right. Close your uh -oh. eyes. I don't want to no. see this. Don't okay. lick her. Okay. Oh, he looks like a rock star. <gasps> oh my god. I, I legit thought his tongue was like so big that it was going to touch her. That's from there. magic. <laughs> Trivia time. Who is this man? I don't know. I, I, I feel like I've seen him, but I don't know. Oh, I know Lion. his face looks so familiar. That mole is iconic. Do you guys know the song, We're Not Gonna Take It? We're not gonna take it anymore. You know it. And that's Dee Snyder, and that is the lead singer of Twisted Sister. No Twisted way. Sister. Twisted Sister, I've, I've heard of them. Okay, okay, okay. The only thing, though, like, that I can only see changing is maybe, like, a softer makeup look. I yeah. wouldn't do like the blue eyeshadow for him. When it comes to shock rock, maybe a little tamer, but in the 80s, these guys were dressing up like women. <laughs> they were anti-authority, they were anti-teachers and parents. So oh, again, right. cons conservative watch groups were coming after him and trying to shut him down. You could tell they were the bad kids in school. Like, <laughs> or the yeah, cool no. kids. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Oh, Guar, baby, you gotta go. I'm not looking at it. I don't want to look at that joke. <laughs> like, <laughs> this might be the first one I don't like. Ooh, that's like flesh. That special effects artist got that check that day, okay? Right? <laughs> he just said I'm sick of me like seven times in a different way. <laughs> They, there's just a bunch of slang and wanging. The song brought really nothing new to me. Okay. I feel like everyone else out outperformed. It looks like you Comic -Con's walk going on. into like an alien orgy. They are described as interplanetary space barbarians. That's <laughs> that's what that guppy brain guy gave me. What made Guar big and makes Guar big is their live shows, where they cover their audiences in fake blood, semen. Guts. That's nasty. I don't mind them getting co covered in fake blood in the crowd. I want to do You that. lost me at semen. What'd they cut off? His head. Oh my god. That's badass. Wow. You know, a whole production is really impressive. I feel like it should be giving more than it is. It's like it's like the type of fake visuals that belong on the side of like an arcade game. That's dope. That's that's exactly what it looks like. Imagine there's a splash zone too. Like I wouldn't want to scream the lyrics to my favorite part because I'm gonna get some in my mouth. Right? You just get blood. Ah. They are one of a kind. Wow. They are definitely one of a kind, and I respect the hell out of them for it. What is this? What are they? Ooh, I love a storyline music video. Yeah. I like this. Now I wanna see what the shock. They're gonna die. Be. Whoa. Yeah, you know. I'm getting it. I'm getting into it. Are they German? Yes. Duhasmi. Are they kidnapping this girl? Whoa, Duhasmi. who are they injecting? He has great cheekbones. Oh. German. Oh, wow. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Wait, that little noise in the back is doing something. I like it though. I was like, what's going on? I was like, they're all surrounding this person who looks like they just got drugged and like... 10 out of 10. Yeah! <laughs> right? To the main dude. Ich liebe dich. Whoa! What did you guys think? Looking over. That's the German band. That is Rammstein. Oh, I've heard of Rammstein. One of the world's biggest industrial metal bands incorporating electronica and heavy metal, this German band. Uh, their shock monitor was from like live pyrotechnics. Just they would go nuts, as well as elaborate costumes like lederhosen, military garb, and corsets. I liked it. This one was cool. I like when it built up. It was different. I didn't like it at first, but then it grew on me, and I'm like, ooh, wow. Huge band. Shout out East Germany. Y'all ate <laughs> that one. <laughs> oh, he's fun. Ooh. Oh, I like him. Oh, he's cool as hell. Okay, that's kind of like 
cool creepy, like when they have the choreograph planned. I like him, like he looks all scary, but he's just like, wow. Ooh, wow, he's powerful. Wow! Superpowers, I was not expecting that. Bro, I know what I'm listening to for leg day. Oh my god. Again, it, like, a lot Ooh. of metal bands have that medieval sci-fi mix. Why is it so specific? Actual footage of Harry killing Voldemort. <laughs> He's fighting a super evil guy. I like his colorful hair. I just think colorful hair is just so fun and awesome. Oh, you know? vibe. This is so vibey. For me, I'd have to be in such a specific Woo! mood to want to listen to it. That takes you to another world. Take it that in his was brother Justin. My favorite screaming one. Yeah, I yeah. had like a melody. Power Man 5000. And that was when worlds collide. What would we think of that song and music video? That was my favorite out of all of them. Really? Yes. <laughs> that oh, was man, five, that, went, that went hard. That shit was lit. I Jackson. loved it. I, personally, I loved it. But also, I had this feeling of, I have to really be in a specific mood to want to listen to this. It was cool. Yeah, it was fun. I, it was unexpected when the superpowers came. <laughs> I don't know what he did to piss off that dude, but he should have never tried to take my boy custody. Power Man 5000 leaned into the atomic age sci-fi theme of the past. It's so weird how a lot of these have to do with sci-fi, medieval, just, just like, it's such a specific niche, yet so many metal bands seem to do it. That was very shocking in a good way. <laughs> you know, it might be all one category, but they, were, they definitely had their unique parts. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like, I, I feel loud, my head is like, going back and forth, but in a great way. Dude, I love all of this. I think I learned today, don't judge a book by its cover. That oh, yeah. goes both ways. Somebody may think somebody like me doesn't listen to this kind of music, and I may think somebody listens to this kind of music. You listen to this type of music? I'm shook! <laughs> metal, metal is badass. Metal is awesome. And party every day! I want to so rock and roll! So much is going on, I love it! And party every day! Woo! I like, where is the girl just randomly coming from? And then there's blood coming out of her mouth. And there's a bunch of guys just naked and just like, wow.